Hey everyone, welcome to the European Serato studio here in Hackney, East London. Now we have just released the latest version of our software, 2.4. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my top five ways of using our brand new advanced MIDI mapping feature. For this video, I'm gonna be using the club standard Pioneer DJM900 Nexus, but you can use any Serato enabled mixer you like. Let's do it. Create a transition effect. To create this transition effect, first make sure that the effects tab in Serato is open and then head over to the MIDI tab in the top right hand corner. Now for this transition effect, I would like to map this button on the mixer to turn on all three of the effects on buttons on the right hand side. It's very simple. All you need to do is click on the first one and then press the button on the mixer that you would like to assign it to until the window turns blue. So now that is mapped, and I now want to change the data type of this button to relative on off. And you can do that by pressing the C key. So that one's done. And now if I head over to the second one, click that, press the button on the mixer. And now it's asking me if I would like to overwrite what is assigned to that button or add an additional mapping. So I'll press A for additional mapping. That's now assigned and I now need to change the data type again to relative on off. And then for the third one, click the button in the software, click the button on the mixer, A for additional, and then data type relative on off. Controlling multiple Serato video effects with one dial. For this next mapping, I'm gonna show you how you can use one dial on your mixer to control multiple effects inside Serato video. To do this, let's head to the MIDI tab again, and let's click on the first dial in the software, and I want to assign it to this dial here. So you just move that dial, and that's now assigned. And now I move down to the second one, move the same dial, Press A to add an additional mapping, and that's done. If I now close the MIDI tab, turn the effects on, this dial will now control both. Triggering a Serato video image effect alongside audio from a sampler bank. Head to the MIDI tab, and then head down to the sample bank. I'm gonna press the play button in the software and then press the button that I would like to assign that to on the mixer. Once it turns blue, that means it's been assigned. Now for this particular mapping, I need the data type to be relative signed bit. To change that, press C until it gets to that data type. So that's now assigned. Now to add an image to that piece of audio whenever I press that button, I just need to head over here to the Serato video image effect on off button. Click to assign MIDI, press the button on the mixer that you need to assign it to, press A to add an additional mapping. And again, I need to change the data type to relative signed bit. Scrolling through your library from both sides of the mixer. In the MIDI tab, just head to the library scroll button, click that to assign the MIDI, and I'm gonna assign it to this dial here. Now I also wanna assign it to this dial here. So to do that, I hold shift and I click to assign an additional control. Now I move this dial here, and there we have it. I can now scroll my library from both sides of the mixer. Trigger in a loop roll and an effect at the same time using a volume slider on your mixer. To trigger a loop roll alongside any effect you wish inside Serato just by moving the volume slider, let's head to the MIDI tab, head to the loop roll button, click that and then move the volume slider you want to assign it to. Now let's head down to the dial on the effect that we'd like to use, click to assign MIDI, move the same volume slider, Press A 
to add an additional mapping. And there you have it. To save any MIDI mapping that you create inside Serato for you to recall at any time in the future, just head to the settings screen and then the MIDI tab. You can see here that the mapping that I'm currently using has not been saved. Click save and then give your mapping a title. I highly recommend mentioning in the title the model of mixer that you created the mapping with. Click OK and now this will be saved alongside all your other saved MIDI mappings. So those are my top five ways of using the brand new advanced MIDI mapping feature in the latest version of Serato DJ Pro 2.4. This is a really powerful feature. I highly recommend you head to the website, download it and start playing around with your official Serato accessories and your Serato enabled mixers. Peace.